Hi, I am Noor Salam Khan from Connect 2008 and I have with me a pioneer from the industry, Mr. B. Lamaranga Raju, the founder and chairman of Satyam Computer Services Limited. Raju is a world-renowned visionary, global business leader and thinker. Uh, Raju, uh, we are seeing that uh, many companies are bubbling out and people are establishing their businesses. But you have taken Satyam from a very low level to a very high level, from a very few people to very high level. Uh, number of people more than 50,000 capacity of people. So what is the thing which uh, driven you to take this from high low level to high level? The emergence okay. of knowledge economy yeah. uh, has uh, provided us opportunities yeah. uh, like never before. So having a 50,000 people company is incidental. What is more important is uh, the opportunity uh, that presents itself to us uh, today. Uh, it is the case that uh, uh, Satyam has grown from being a less than a million dollar company yeah. in 1992 to this year as we have guided mm. to being a 2.6 billion dollar or 2.7 billion dollar company mm. in a fairly short period of time. While it speaks for the commitment of uh, all my colleagues, mm. it also speaks for uh, uh, fundamental uh, changes uh, that have happened in the le economic landscape. Mm. Uh, services have come into prominence. Yeah. Service delivery has become seamless mm. and no longer limited by uh, geography. Mm. Uh, knowledge has come to have uh, a much greater role uh, in organizations. Yeah. And uh, the influence of knowledge is growing. Mm. We are not looking at ourselves uh, any longer as a technology company. Yeah. We look at ourselves as a, a, a knowledge company. Knowledge company. And uh, uh, that in the backdrop of uh, the world economy, mm. which is at more than $50 trillion, having more than 70% of uh, the GDP resting in services yeah. uh, holds a great promise. Great promise. Yeah. So these are the opportunities that we are pursuing. pursuing. And we believe that uh, the opportunities mm. in the next fee 15 mm. years, yeah. as compared to things that may have happened in the, in the last 15 years yeah. would be far greater. Fine. Uh, what Indian industry has been able to do mm. is barely scratch the surface. You know, We mm. have uh, come to benefit mm. from an evolving knowledge and technology platform. Yeah. But now it has come to a stage where it has become much more uh, much ubiquitous more than, yeah. and affordable. Yeah. Mm. And we would like to build on this mm. platform Fine. and take mm. things to the next level. Next level. Raju, you talked about innovation during your speech. So we know Satyam as an IT service provider company. So how do you look research and innovation from the window of Satyam? Innovation is nothing new mm. to the industry. Yeah. And so is the case uh, mm. with Satyam also. Mm. Uh, generally, Oh, one looks at innovation in a in a very narrow perspective. Mm. Uh, one, for given reasons, mm. uh, tends to attach innovation to products. Yeah. Whereas uh, services industry flourished in India mm. on account of uh, innovation that it could apply to yeah. processes, yeah. innovation that it could apply to mm. business models. Yeah. And. Uh, and opportunities abound mm. uh, today mm. uh, across uh, the whole spectrum, mm. uh, whether it be uh, technology or innovative mm. business solutions. Yeah. Uh, I believe that uh, the, the next wave of value creation yeah. would be primarily driven by leadership and innovation. Innovation, great. Uh, Raju, as an uh, entrepreneur, what is the biggest mistake you have done and what lessons you have learned from it? This is one of the mm. toughest questions to answer. Yeah. Because as entrepreneurs, mm. 
many of us don't make single mistakes we make okay. multiple mistakes yeah. it's in the human nature <laughs> yeah. um, and sometimes uh, uh, mistakes are uh, are recognized hmm. uh, post facto yeah uh, because uh, the environment may have changed and hmm. may have taught you some lessons yeah Uh, for example in 1995 when we mm. established satyam info way yeah uh, we believed that internet is going to uh, mm. emerge and make uh, a huge difference yeah uh, not only for uh, the general public and the citizens but also mm. for us as a company company we believed that it is an integral part of mm. uh, providing uh, services services but in 2000 when the dot com bubble burst you know we have recognized that there is a divergence that has taken place mm. what we believed was an integral part of our operations mm. was uh, no longer seen as uh, meshing and then meshing. Uh, coming together okay so we have distanced our distance ourselves from, from that yeah. okay similarly at one time we wanted to be in cro- core product development and marketing as well mm. but there after we moved away from products yeah we have uh, blended uh, mm. our solutions okay with other uh, vendor uh, um, product uh, uh, competencies yeah uh, and and our uh, services uh, capability mm. uh, yeah. well yeah. but we have not got mm. into Mm. for development of products yeah. yeah so these are some of the things mm. that we have mm. seen as having changed Mm. and and in the process uh, sometimes mm. uh, in in a sh- uh, short term perspective mm. we may have lost out on some of mm. the decisions but overall mm. our success rate collectively mm. yeah. uh, in the company has yeah. been far greater than mm. uh, some of uh, the setbacks mm. and yeah. that's what speaks for consistent Consistency. growth yeah yeah mr raju a concluding question what you do to communicate with people since being in office you are unable to communicate with so many number of people so what do you do to communicate do you blog no i i i don't you know but i yeah. do actively yeah. participate in interactions with okay. uh, my hmm. uh, my colleagues one of uh, the most wonderful platform that we hmm. have within our organization hmm. is the satyam learning world okay and there are uh, many initiatives within that hmm. one of the most uh, prominent ones being satyam school of leadership mm. uh, satyam school of leadership i am quite proud to say that last mm. year uh, the american society of training and development rated it as mm. the 15th best mm. in the world and yeah. this year we were rated as the best in the world great and uh, and that is all about uh, uh, communication it's all mm. about learning learning and yeah, exactly. it is all about people coming together and yeah. sharing a a, mm. a common uh, mm. common objective yeah so mr raju a concluding statement for uh, the indian youth from your side the greatest asset uh, mm. our country has without mm. any doubt yeah. is the human resource okay and uh, the demographic uh, demographic uh, mm. advantage yeah and that india has with mm. uh, the median age of uh, mm. india being uh, 26 years mm. and uh, surprisingly to me mm. uh, the median age of uh, japan is 42 years okay so india is almost a generation younger mm. so in that sense uh, the future of uh, india is right rests with uh, mm. young indians young india and uh, and i think young indians are mm. uh, today much more confident yeah uh much more informed informed yeah and uh, much more ambitious ambitious right? i think these are all very positive yeah. uh, qualities yeah so i have more to learn mm. from them yeah than what i can tell them okay it's really great it was uh, nice talking to you mr raju thanks a lot for joining us and uh, answering the questions and the queries posted by the people all around the world thanks okay. a lot thank yeah. you